And remember, we Catholics get our religion from the Jews. Well, we say from Abraham, but we, but we know that historically, you know, the Jews, Jesus was a Jew. Yeah? We agree on that? He was. Yeah, he was a Jew. And we say he started our religion with 12 Jews who then, and it's, yes, and that expanded. So our religion comes from the Jews. Yes, so we're saying that our religion comes from that. As, as, as there are other books as well, but. That's right. But if we say, if the Jews say, if the God, the God of the Jews says he's a he, then we're likely to say the same thing because our religion comes from them. And the Muslim religion comes from adapting both the Jewish religion and our religion. Well, I would say adapting because obviously there are differences. What great differences between us and the Jews. The, the Jewish religion developed after the time of Jesus in various ways yeah no no Moses is, is um, about, about 1500 BC I'm talking about after Jesus' time you've got like the development of rabbinic Judaism because the temple had been destroyed and so with these rabbis they're, they're basically starting off um, developing the Talmud right? you get the Yes, because the Torah is the Old Testament. But the, the Talmud, the Jerusalem Talmud first, then the Babylonian Talmud, a couple hundred years later. In there, there's all kinds of teachings. There's all kinds of accounts, uh, versions of, of Bible stories, versions of Torah um, details. The, the Quran contains some of those versions. It's not like the Quran just contains accounts from the Torah, it contains stuff that is from the rabbinic development of the Torah. Yes, that's right. And that's why I said the Quran is an adaptation, sorry, the Islam Quran is an adaptation of the Jewish religion. Just as in fact Talmudic Judaism is an adaptation of Pharisaic Judaism, which was one of the branches of Judaism in Jesus' day. <coughs> No, it's just that the Jewish religion, after Egypt, developed in various forms. I mean, in Jesus' day, you have the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Essenes, probably other groups I can't even think of. Well, they, they would have all spoken Aramaic, I guess, because at the time of Jesus. The Jews would say, and the Muslims would say, that we Catholics and other Christians are adaptations of the true religion of Abraham. Right? So we're all saying this about each other. So if you're on the outside, it's, it's confusing. What can I do? I can only say that Catholicism 
I think Catholicism is the most historically based religion um, of all the religions that we just talked about. Okay. Yeah. I say that we're, we're the one that's most grounded in historical fact and that is um, because we say that Jesus was crucified, died and was buried. Now I know we say other not things. As a metaphor, not as an analogy, not as a, as a representation no. of something else. As an historical fact, <coughs> we say it happened. Now that contradicts the Muslims. <coughs> I must have got some dust. Now, we say this. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> <coughs> my gosh. So that, the Muslims disagree. No, they believe he was killed. The Talmud says he was stoned to death. No, no, because that's that's why I didn't mention that. The father can the father be Moses and the son Jesus and the and the and the Holy Spirit. No, nobody teaches that. But what we've got in um, historical um, viewpoints is a historical view is that Jesus was crucified, died. The Quran says no. There's no historical um, teaching that differs from the idea of crucifixion, except you get some docetists who are heretics who said, oh well, he, seemed, he was on the cross, but they didn't kill him because he's God. He just seemed to be suffering because he's God. You can't make God suffer. But that's different from the Quran teaching. And the, and the Quran says, we killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. But it only seemed to be so. The Quran says, we, the Jews, this is the Jews speaking. Yeah, the Quran is having the Jews say this statement. We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. But it only seems to be. The Quran is recounting what the Jews allegedly said. Yeah, 600 years before the Quran. And, and the, the quote is, we killed Jesus, son of Mary. We crucified Jesus, son of Mary. The, then Allah in the Quran says that didn't happen. It only seemed to be so. Allah. Because Allah is speaking in the Quran. And what we say is that that's a bit odd because the Jews would not say we killed the Messiah. They would call him the Messiah. Why not? Because they would, look, they, they, they would kill the person who claims to be the, the Messiah who they think is not the Messiah. Yeah, they were offended with him claiming to be the Messiah. And, and they him as a claim. Yeah, because he was a false claimant. That's right, it's what we Christians say. But in the Quran, pay, pay close attention to this. The, the Jewish leaders are saying, we killed the Messiah. Jesus, son of Mary. The Jews are saying, we kill the Messiah. In pride. We don't know whether it's in pride, we don't know what, what the, the emotion is that they've got when they're saying it, but they're saying, we kill the Messiah. Now, it's very odd to say, we killed the Messiah. They wouldn't do that. If they really believed he was the Messiah, they wouldn't have killed him. Why would the Jews say, we killed the Messiah? They could say, we killed the man who said he was the Messiah. It means the Jewish leaders in the Quran. The Jewish leaders, so higher. No, 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 he's a Roman. What we call the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin, so the Sanhedrin count, council, would you say? Like, yeah. Like, so the, the, the Sanhedrin commission effectively sit down and say, look, we're going to kill the, we just, we'll just write this down, we're going to kill the Messiah. Sorry, the Jewish leaders decided to kill Jesus. Maybe they made it. But why would the Jewish leaders decide to kill the Messiah? Because he was bringing an end to the book of Moses. There's no, the, the Messiah for the Jews was somebody who'd liberate them from the Romans. In their minds, he'd be a warrior. Maybe he'd the bring... Messiah means something different. Maybe the Messiah, maybe there's a something behind the Messiah when, when they use the term the Messiah. There's the, the only information, we have very little information in the Quran other than what I've given you. So we don't know the details about what the Quran thinks these Jews had in their minds. 
we've just got that state we got that statement the language and is, <coughs> is what it is Remember though, the, for, the, for the Muslims, the Quran is God's speech. God doesn't get anything wrong, he's not ambiguous. He speaks, and so God said, God tells us what the Jews said. We killed the Messiah. It doesn't tell us in the Quran, but you can tell it's a, you can tell it's a, it's a, a statement of of success in their view, a of triumph, because because then because then because then Allah is saying, ah no, you didn't kill him. It just seemed to be so. You see, so Allah is happy. He's mocking the Jews who think they've killed the Messiah. So the question is, why would the Jews say they killed the Messiah? It's very odd, but there it is in the book in the in the Quran. If, even though you've got the wrong guy, if you're a Jewish leader and you think the person in front of you is the Messiah, you think he's the one who's going to liberate you from the Romans. That's the whole idea of the Messiah in these people's thinking. But the cost of liberation then surely outweighs the fact he was causing more trouble locally no. than, he, than he was in, 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 in freeing the Jewish people from the shackles of, of, of Rome no. The Messiah is a supernatural figure as well as a human being. He can just get rid of, just get rid of the enemies by his sheer power. So it'll all be wonderful things coming to happen if the Messiah takes his sword and leads the people of Israel. But then is, that is a metaphor. No, the Messiah is a real being, a real person who they expect to come and to liberate them and to make Israel glorious and powerful. Even more than in the days of King David. Yeah, the Jewish nation, that's right. So it's just an odd thing in the Quran, but there we are. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What they say. Right. It's a difficult one, isn't it? You know, why would you say we killed the Messiah? I could say, if it said we killed the false Messiah, fair enough, you know. We killed the because we would accept their statements as being consistent with our book if, if the Jews are saying we killed the false claimants because Caiaphas tears his robe when Jesus says he's the Messiah in Mark 14 62 Caiaphas is asking him are you the Messiah the son of the blessed one and Jesus says I am and then Caiaphas tears his robe because Caiaphas no way believes he is so he calls him a blasphemer and that's the ground for killing him. Yeah. So legally, it makes sense. But the, the, the Quran doesn't say this. It says he is actually the Messiah yeah. in these two sides. Uh, these Jews wouldn't say that. That's the point I was making. Mm. Yeah. And they couldn't, um, they couldn't really answer you from the Jews. Yeah. So, so I think that's another one of the things in the Quran where they don't fully really understand it. Yeah. But it's a mystery.